Hey Peaches, so today I'm coming on to talk about verbal abuse in the workplace and just verbal abuse in general. So verbal abuse is not at all fun to deal with. I believe we all experience verbal abuse at least once in our life. One way or another, uh, verbal abuse is not fun. It shouldn't be ignored, nor should it be tolerated. So don't just, you know, try to ignore it. Don't keep it in. Talk to people about it. If it's going on in the workplace, it's best to report it to a higher power, say a supervisor or a manager or even a coworker. Don't keep it to yourself, don't ignore it because it's happening and it's not cool. Um, nor should it be tolerated. If somebody's verbally abusing you like right to your face, just turn around and walk away. If it's going on online, for example, if you're on Facebook and somebody's verbally abusing you, just log out of your account and walk away. People should not be verbally abusing you and thinking that it's okay because words do hurt and I've heard a lot of people say that words don't hurt. They do. They can play with your mind. Um, some people could fall into deep depression. Some people could feel really badly about themselves, embarrassed. There's a long list of emotions that could be felt when it comes to hurtful words. They hurt. End of story. Okay. Now, uh, verbal abuse in the workplace, I've dealt with it sadly enough, and um, I really was not at all pleased with um, the situation. Basically, when I went into my first job, I was um, making coffee all the time, making coffees and whatnot, and um, I was supposed to have an in-training badge because I was obviously, you know, in training and a new employee. Um, and because I didn't have that in training badge, um, a lot of customers would freak out at me when I got their coffee wrong because they didn't know that I was a new employee because of the lack of the in training badge. They just assumed that I had been there for ages and that I shouldn't be screwing up as badly as I was. And I had to explain over and over to customers that I was a new employee and they would still get ticked off at me just because I didn't have an in-training badge, which was not my fault. I was never given one by my employer. So uh, I only worked there for probably two months because I ended up leaving. Um, it just became way too much. And so after I left, um, I noticed that a lot of the newer employees were getting the in-training badges, which was the only good thing that really came out of my bad situation, because at least that spares, you know, future new employees from getting more stress piled onto them because of customers screaming at them for, you know, messing up their coffees and not knowing that that employee is a new employee because of the lack of in-training badge. So, yeah, that's really what happened and um, if it's verbal abuse in the workplace like I said report it to um, a higher power don't put up with it and you know what if you are the person dishing out the verbal abuse grow up and learn to be more professional because I believe that if you are at a job you are there to above all first and foremost be professional you're there to work you were at a job making money you're there to be professional above all things also you know it's nice to offer help to people who are new and don't know what the heck they're doing and to be a team player and to also just be nice to everybody regardless of age race gender just professionalism is the number one thing in my mind so again, if you are dishing out the verbal abuse at your workplace, grow up and be professional. So that's about it, Peaches. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, favorite, subscribe to me if you'd like to see more videos from me. And that's about it. So peace. I love you all. Live, laugh, love, and have a good day or night depending on when you watch this video. And I'll see you guys next time, whoa, <laughs> with a brand new video. Bye.